to feed them water Clyde, the Alexandrian today. Um, so I'm just going to start off with putting on some gloves. Got two vinyl gloves here. Um, you can put on a mask, um, but this is a uh, pet bird. Uh, I know his history, I know that he doesn't have any um, diseases, so no citicosis, no worms or anything at the moment, so I'm pretty okay to, to not use a mask at the moment. I've got him clear our shoes and everything else. So we'll get his um, bowls out of his cage. Do you want to hop off your... That's the way, Clyde, good job. So Clyde's got... got a bowl there with his food and he's got a water two water bowls. Hello Clyde, how are you? Oh hello. Just my nephew. Hello. in there. Yeah. Alright, so we'll um, take these water bowls in here and empty them. Push them to the sink. We're going to wash these in here in our warm soapy water. Getting rid of any residual um, mess or muck out of them. Making sure they're nice and clean. Now, if this wasn't a pet bird, if we're in a shop or if we're in a, um, a pound or anything like this that actually had other birds, I would be more inclined to spray these with F10 and then rinse them afterwards just to make sure that they um, you're clearing them of any disease. But as we're in a, um, a home environment, I'm not too worried. And as they're going back to the same bird, I'm not too worried of any disease. Just washing them with warm soapy water should get rid of any um, bugs or nasties. Alright, giving them a good rinse out. I'm going to go get some paper towel and dry them. and drain nice and clean. Now you can put some fresh water in there. Fill that up about halfway. I like to have two water containers just because Clyde likes to have a bit of a bath and also just in case he spills one water container he has a second in reserve. So we'll pop those ones back in. made these bowls very tight so that he can't knock them out. That means that you've got to put them in a certain position to get them in and out. So they're rather tricky. One. 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 And two. Perfect. Now with his food. With his food, 
just going to go put this in the garbage, it's just normal waste. I'm going to give this bowl a clean out in that warm soapy water as well. And again, the same principle applies, making sure that you're getting rid of any waste products, any organic matter, anything that could make the birds sick. Okay. sure this one's incredibly very dry, I should say not incredibly dry, very dry. <laughs> Mama. We're sticking Mama. food in here. Mama. And again we do the same thing in a pet shop or if we're in a pound or environment we'd probably spray this with F10, leave it for 30 minutes to dry and then rinse it out and then put the food in or containers interchange. Um, just to make sure that we were passing on any nasties. Alright, so we've applied food. I'm going to take these gloves off. Just want to pair this food because they're a bit wet. He gets half a cup of the Nutri Blend, which is a fortified pellet, especially for uh, parrots. And he gets a quarter of a cup of the macaw, which is just a large parrot mix, which has got lots of seeds and nuts and dried fruit. It's a really nice little mix in there. Here, that will last him um, a day. I change that daily. I'm just going to pop that in there. He has a guard that actually protects the food from dropping out of the cage because he has a tendency to knock it out. He's a bit excited to get his food, aren't you Clive? Yes. Yes. watch to make sure um, that he's okay. He doesn't like his peanuts obviously and just observe to make sure that he's uh, doing all right. But yeah, he's eating his food. That's perfect. And every um, every week I give him um, some fruit and veg on his little fruit stick. Um, but he had some of that um, yesterday so I'm not going to give him any fruit and veg today. I might give him some apple this afternoon. Thank you. Right, Hi, um, we're just here doing uh, enrichment with Clyde. Uh, so I've got two things for enrichment with Clyde. I've got here the deli sticks, which is a little um, treat stick for Clyde, a little food-based enrichment. And I've also made a little toy out of wooden shoes and beads, um, all completely safe for him to have. And um, we're gonna pop that in there for him. So a little bit of food enrichment, a little bit of play enrichment, um, just something for him to have in his cage. You can probably already see he's got quite a fair bit. Um, as he's a pet bird, he's um, very used to getting his kind of enrichment. So we will just pop this in there with him. And as with all enrichment, it is really important to monitor the bird for at least 10 minutes afterwards just to make sure he's very keen. I know, buddy, I know you're keen. Um, to make sure that they have a positive response and there is no negative association with the. There you go, buddy. With the enrichment, um, but yeah, that's uh, he's already eating the food sh food stick, so that's a very good uh, response to the enrichment. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm giving um, this is a um, Clyde, my um, Alexandrine, and we're going to be um, showing you how to handle and how to handle giving treatment. So Clyde is my pet bird, as I said before, um, so he's quite used to handling. Um, so with um, any bird, of course, you must be real, be aware of all of the things that you um, can happen. 
As you can see, his eyes are going quite pinny at the moment, so I need to be aware of bites and scratches and all those kinds of things. So with Clyde, I'll go from behind to avoid any types of bites and scratches and take him away from the cage. Hello, hello, how are you? So this is how I'd normally handle Clyde. Um, but if I needed to give him medication or if I needed to clip his, um, clip his toenails, um, obviously he's not as um, happy for those types of things to happen. So I would need to use a towel uh, for that type of handling technique. So when I do this kind of stuff, I like to have my towel ready. Hey, Baba, it's okay. Put him on my chest. Can I hop on my chest? That's the way. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. Try and decrease the stress as much as possible. And then pop your syringe. And if you've got medication, hopefully you'll have it ready already. Draw up your medication. And in the side of the mouth. Just as I so. say. Alright, then hand underneath again. And then hands off. And Clyde is fine to get back in his cage and he's quite happy. Alright, but as less stress as you can on the bird. Oh, we've got a poop on the ground, we're going to have to clean that up. Make sure we get our gloves on and use our antibacterial wipes. Alright, thank you very much.